hi all welcome to my channel in today's video we're going to look into the next quantitative analysis on the pharma sector i had already made a video on the pharma sector uh, in the quantitative uh, analysis front uh, over there i had uh, you know spoke about the foreign pharma companies so today we will check out the indian pharma companies i had told you all in that video itself that i will be making a separate video on the uh, Indian pharma companies so today we will look into the uh, stocks of uh, pharma sector which is a uh, torrent pharma and the West pharma and the West laboratories so these are Indian based pharma companies so we'll get in and see uh, the video that will uh, compare the parameters and see who wins in the end so let's get started <music> So I will be first telling you all the parameter to be um, checked before uh, buying a stock and comparing it with both Torrent Pharma and Davis Laboratories and I will be giving stars against each so 2 is the maximum star the one which gets 2 is the um, higher one and the other one is lower and a small briefing is that these two pharma companies are Indian based pharma companies and Torrent is based out of Ahmedabad and Davis is out of uh, Hyderabad in the south and uh, uh, it is here since 28 years so we will uh, get in and see the basic parameters to be noted before buying a stock so the first parameter is PE so Torrent Pharma's PE is 36 whereas Divi's uh, Laboratories uh, PE is 32 I've given 2 stars you all can see I've given uh, 2 stars for the one which has less PE but my previous videos I would have given 2 stars for the one which has uh, higher PE but uh, we have to you know include other um, parameters also before uh, choosing a company so here why I have given two stars is we will get to know later and another thing is that um, not all company which has IOPE is a bad company and not all companies which are which has less PE is also a bad company so we have to you know check out all the parameters before deciding the ROC so Torrent Pharma's ROC is 13 whereas uh, DV's uh, ROC is 21 so it's most I've given 2 stars there the ROE Torrent's uh, ROE is 14 whereas DV's ROE is 15 there are marginal differences but the higher one wins here so ROE is um, DV's ROE is 15 so I've given 2 stars there sales growth for three years uh, torrents sales growth is eight percentage whereas dv's sales growth is only uh, 7.36 so torrent wins here so it's sales growth is more when compared to dv's so two stars to torrent next is profit growth for three years so torrent's profit growth is minus four percentage whereas dv's is 0.76 so it's on the positive side i know it is less but on positive side so i've given two stars there so the next parameter is eps so torrent's eps is 48 whereas the viz uh, eps is 49 so i've given two stars there the next parameter is promoter holding uh, so torrents promoter holding is 71 percentage whereas divis is 52 so you all can see torrents uh, promoter holding is more when compared to divis so given two stars to torrent pharma and one important criteria is that uh, the promoter holding should be more next is nbfc and mutual fund investment so nbfc and mutual fund investment uh, total percentage of investment by nbfc and 
uh, mutual funds in torrent form as 9 percentage whereas uh, in divis it is 14 percentage so i have given two stars there for institutions so torrent it is uh, 8 percentage whereas in divis it is 20 percentage and debt to equity so torrent uh, debt to equity is 1.40 whereas uh, divis debt to equity is 0.01 so you all can see it is uh, less when compared to torrent farmers so i have given two stars there so the total number of stars for torrent it is 12 stars and divis it is 18 stars so you all can see um, divis wins here but um, now we all will get to know the reason why i have given two stars um, to divis even though it is less because all other parameters are uh, you know good when compare it in it with uh, torrent pharma divis uh, roc roe eps everything is more so i've um, given two stars for pe here the only drawback is that the promoter holding is less otherwise everything is um, good when comparing it with these two there are very marginal differences so uh, here uh, if at all you all want to invest in these two stocks you all can go ahead with any of these stocks because um, uh, you know th these two stocks have very marginal differences so both these stocks are good here so we not need not worry to you know choose but the winner in looking at the parameters is uh, divis laboratories here So if at all you all want to invest in any of these stocks please do your research and then start investing as this is not a stock recommendation from our side and uh, always remember one thing is that when you all are comparing uh, stocks please make sure that you you know it is of the same sector so that it will be correct uh, when we calculate the parameters so as i always say start thinking and happy investing Thank you for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified as we upload a new video. All the information provided in this channel is only for general guidance and educational purpose. Don't consider this as a recommendation from our side. Please do your own research or seek a financial advisor prior to investing. You can follow us even on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.